Well, here we are. It's winter. It's uh, November 24th or so, maybe. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, one morning it was uh, plus 5, and the next it was minus 18. Uh, radio says minus 27 today with the wind chill. So, yeah, it's, it's cold. But uh, we don't mind. Heck, I've even got the window open. <clears throat> and there is our half-finished rocket mass stove. I'm trying to get in the shadows here. There you go. Burning sideways. So. No fire on the top. Lots of fire on the bottom. And, uh, so you can see we've got wood drying out on top of the barrel. And, uh, now we're not completely covered as far as the ducting. What I tried to cover up was, uh, was all the joints and anywhere that gases could escape except for the caps so you do get uh, you do get exhaust and smoke coming out of that edge there but uh, it's tolerable we've got a co2 detector and uh, everything's within tolerance eventually uh, as the thing gets plastered over they'll there'll be an airtight uh, cap over housing that cap over top of it um, Everything not yet dried out, so you can see the distinct color variation between this stuff and, and that stuff here. Really surprising how our wet, sloppy clay sand uh, turns into just rock-hard um, cob. It's uh, just a big, ancient fire brick, really. Just pretty neat. And, uh, and there you go, burning, burning sideways, no smoke into the room. So it's not done yet. It's not nearly finished. There's our dented, big dented oil barrel with our huge stock pot on top. And as you can see, there's barely anything's finished because we've been working so hard on this. Luckily we had good weather enough to, uh, to work on it well into, uh, well into November, up to just uh, maybe four or five days ago. And uh, this is as far as it's going to get, because we need to dry it out. We really need to focus on drying the thing out, because moisture has been our main issue here. As you see down in here, we've got, um, we've got a lot of moisture coming out of our, the bed to our, our stove keep calling it a stove, it's a heater, doesn't really boil water all that well. And the condensation here on the pipe that goes outside. Now I made a metal form, a sheet metal form, that's full of vermiculite. Um, but since we're losing so much water uh, through the stove and, and the condensation isn't really helping, the vermiculite's just all just uh, gone to mud. And... Uh, and so we've got cups down there trying to catch the drips. If I could do this again, I would make a spout in the in the cage for the water to, to flow out as it's drying. But I want to get this as dry as possible so that when we leave, it doesn't uh, it doesn't crack. Uh, I've gone out of my way to find the biggest rocks possible um, to get in here because, of course, it's the mass that retains the heat. Um, but it's working. It's working. Like, it's minus 20-some-odd outside, and you burn this thing, uh, there, like one of those buckets of wood. Well, the two of them will, you know, burn for 12 hours a day, which is what we're doing right now, um, uh, because we need to dry it out. But, uh, once it's all dry, it should hold a lot more heat a lot better and it does uh, you know in the mornings you wake up and the thing's still super hot um, 
especially to put your hand on this rock. That's why I put the big one right there. Yeah. Yeah, it works. And it uh, doesn't look pretty right now, but eh, next year it will.